What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. Today, we are going to be starting the body work on the Civic. I went ahead and I got it washed. I got everything nice and clean. And I am going to wait. It's around 90 degrees outside. I am going to wait about an hour for everything to evaporate before I start sanding and getting down to the bare metal in some areas. You always want to have a clean surface when you start to do any body work or any kind of painting. Why we washed everything down and like I said it's 90 degrees we're gonna wait an hour and we're gonna pull the Civic into the garage. This video is gonna take me a few days because I'm gonna to have to do um, bondo work and that all takes time to do. Um, I appreciate that you guys are so patient and are continuing to watch my videos. Another thing, do not attempt what you are going to see. Do not attempt to do this in your own vehicle. If you do, you're doing it at your own risk. Um, I am not a professional. I am not that great at doing body work. That is one of my weaknesses, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the process, how I'm going to do it, how I'm going to attempt to do it, and hopefully it works out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the car in, not all the way in. I'm gonna try to keep it right here where the shadow is because of the fact that once I start sanding everything down, I don't want all that dust getting into the garage because later on when I start laying paint or anything, and I jacked up the rear end of the car so it is completely up in the air that way I could go ahead and get under here um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll these in since I'm already back here and I'm gonna start doing this body work I'm just gonna probably take the hammer and push these back up in there but first we're gonna go ahead and use our wire brush and we are gonna attempt to clean as much as we can of the surface rust that we have um, right now what I want to do is eliminate anything that's gold or copperish like this or brown that has rust on it once we have completed that we'll go ahead and lay some um, self etching primer this stuff is for bare metal um, I know that there's several different kinds of primer. So here we have self etching primer. I like to use self etching primer where there's bare metal. Once I get down to the bare metal, this is the stuff that you want to use. Here we have filler primer. Filler primer, I usually use this stuff when I'm doing body work and I have some little tiny like like little dings or like not little dings i would say like little pinholes or anything like that i usually will hit it with some glazing putty and then after the glazing putty dries and i sand it i'll go ahead and hit it with this stuff right here the next primer we have right here is the primer sealer this stuff is the stuff that i use at the very end of everything when i'm completely done with the job and I'm ready to lay paint. I'll lay some primer sealer to seal everything. Um, usually this promotes um, tackiness, which will let the paint stick a little bit better to your, to whatever it is that you're painting. And also this helps out to get everything a nice and even color. That way when you lay your paint, you don't have different spots of where you laid your uh, filler primer. This will make everything nice and even underneath. Either way, back to this. I'm gonna go ahead and start removing this rust. It 
and I'm gonna continue to do this to the whole thing wherever I see little bubbles or I see any rust You guys see this? You guys never know what you're gonna find underneath. Look at all this. Somebody had done some repair and the repair had gotten rusty. Um, I went ahead and I hit everything with the wire brush. I'm thinking on this side, I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe trim this off and then cut some lines into this so I can use the hammer to pound this up and give myself um, somewhat of a rolled lip right here without actually rolling it just pounding that up um, give myself a little bit more clearance basically um, another thing I do have that rust gel the rust remover gel we're gonna go ahead and fill all this up with that stuff and try to get all that rust that's inside of here removed and over here, we're gonna have to do the same thing so you guys can see that's where the gas door is. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna find until you, you start removing all this stuff. We're gonna let this stuff sit in there. Let it do its job around 20 minutes and then we'll come back and lay some more. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and do this thing that I gotta do right here. They sell this mesh that you could put in the back of here. You guys can see how bad this rust really was. A lot of the metal is gone. But either way, they saw this mesh that you could put in the back. And it really will stick to the back of this. And then you'll be able to lay some bondo over it. Um, the best way to repair this is actually to replace this whole section right here. With a piece of metal. But unfortunately, I do not have access to that so i'm gonna have to go the other route i'm gonna go ahead and lay some uh primer right now self-etching primer because we are down to the bare metal this is nice and clean and it is ready to accept the primer i do not have a welder so my best route is to get the little mesh that goes in the back right here um I'm not gonna go to the store. I do have a little piece of aluminum that I fabricated right here. I went ahead and I cut and it actually fits in there pretty good. And by me putting this right here, it fits on here pretty, really, 
pretty good. So by me putting that on there, I'll be able to lay some bando over all this and get everything to stick on there pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and lay some primer also on this piece, even though it's aluminum. I'm gonna lay some primer on it, just to prevent anything. Um, and we'll continue from there. So this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and start laying some bando down. I laid some more bando down, laid a little bit up here. Still see a little bit of an imperfection right there. And then I went ahead and I laid a second coat right here. All of this still has to be sanded. Might have to lay a third coat, not sure yet. But this is why I hate doing this kind of body work. That's why I'm not trying to fix this little thing that's right here. And I'd rather just leave it, let it be, than for me to start laying bando all over the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side up. Um, tackle the other side, do this little chunk right here, shape everything exactly where we want it, and then I'm gonna upload this video. And on my next video, I might go live and just start sanding everything down and getting everything ready for a primer. So I wanna go ahead and lay a sealer on the whole car. And when I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and sand everything up to 800 grit. And then we'll definitely be ready to lay some paint and pick a color. I'm excited about this because it is gonna look pretty nice once we pick our color. But either way, don't do what I did because like I said at the beginning of the video, I am not a professional. I hate doing body work. And this is something, this is one of my weaknesses. So do not follow what I did, all right? Don't think that it's gonna look bad, cause it's not. I'm gonna go ahead and keep sanding and keep shaping everything. And it's gonna look good and it's gonna blend in and everything. But do not follow what I, what I did, all right, you guys? Yeah, so this is one of the videos that to me kind of suck because I'm not having fun at all shaping this thing. But either way, this is gonna be the end of it and I will catch you guys on my next video. If you haven't subscribed, um, go ahead and do so now, go down below, hit the like button if you like the video. And yeah, this is gonna be it. I'll catch you guys on my next one. Till then, peace out. I'll see you guys on the live.